What's going on guys, we're back with another opening, we've got ourselves a Vivid Voltage Booster Box, it's release day, so we had to. Let's get cracking straight away. It's probably the best booster box you can open right now. Especially, it's definitely the, the best uh, Sword and Shield set by far. Simply because of these, amazing rares, awesome. I'm not going to waste any time and get cracking straight away, so there's a code card right there. Do the pack trick as well. I would say the best thing about Vivid Voltage actually is that it makes green codes actually not that bad. Since you can get the amazing rares out of the green codes as well. But yeah, the booster boxes are going for around 105 right now. For normal sets, it's normally be around 95 to 100 for a release day set. But since the voltage is sold out at the, at the distributor level, price is only going to go higher from now. I think the restock is expected. Oh, Galarian Dark Manitan. Let's leave that bad boy up. I swear, between this guy and Togekiss, they seem to be the most common hits that I've got. Yeah, as I was saying, since it's the, um, sold out at the, at the distributor level, that's a lot of color, strange. Free energy there, so that was a bit weird. Yeah, since it's sold out pretty much everywhere, actually the first sword and shield set first even sun and moon set to my knowledge that's ever sold out before release day to pre-orders the boxes are going for higher than normal so if you want to open a few packs a few boxes even i would say buy, buy them as soon as possible because they're only going to go up from now until the restock And we got a white gold. I believe the restock is supposed to be early to mid December, which is also when the hidden face e training boxes are supposed to come out. The champion's path e training boxes come out. Some more of the old champion path stuff is supposed to get reprinted. Orbital V. So it seems like. Early December is going to be a bit insane. Go pray for your wallet, man. <laughs> oh, the cold, the card trick. Yeah, this set really gives me Ultra Prism vibes because that was the first set to. Ooh, Reverse Charm. I'll leave that to the side. Actually, it's not too bad. Ultra Prism was the first to release Prism Stars, which is. Which were like just extra value in a box, similar to these amazing rares. Since I've opened about 10 of these, 10 boxes off camera, and every single one of them had two amazing rares per box. So it's, I'm guessing the price is going to drop pretty quickly. They're going for around 10 to 30 pounds. At the time of this video, with Zamazenta being the worst, then it goes Zacian. And then after Zacian, it's Celebi, then Raikou, which is around 20 pound. Jirachi is hovering around 30, and Rayquaza is around 30 as well. But for surprisingly, Rayquaza seems to be the most expensive. Jirachi is dropping to 25, but Rayquaza is sticking at 30 pounds. Which is strange because Jirachi is the more playable one, so I was thinking Jirachi would be the one that. Oh god, was it out of focus all along? Please don't say the whole start of the video was out of focus. Oh, 
Oh, that's just the energy card, so it's not bad. Look at that massive white nick. Can you see that? So, at least it's only the energy, so it's, it's not a big deal. But yeah, as I was saying, I've opened 10 boxes, and the average hit rate seems to be about nine. Ooh, amazing rare Rayquaza. It's actually a pretty solid pull, man. A focus. It actually looks to be a pretty perfect card. Centering's pretty good. Might slightly be off left to right, but seems to be good. The back looks pretty pretty solid as well. No whitening, no nicks. Yeah. Pretty solid quality on that one. And it came out of a green card as well. So that's our one amazing rare for this box. What I've noticed, a little fun fact, is that out of every box, it seems to be evenly distributed between left and right. And there's always one on the left side, one on the right side of the booster box. Out of 10 boxes I've opened, not a single one has had two amazing rares on the same side. Of course, that was a white gold. We drew for either a hollow. I'm gonna, yeah, it's gonna be a hollow this time. Encarta, a Wisma, Reverse Chimcho, and Duskyor. Duskyor hollow. The other thing I was saying, because it's roughly out of those 10 boxes, the average hit rate was 9 or 10. I had two boxes that were 8 hits. Oh, what's this? Colossal VMAX. Colossal. Pretty dope card. The light's gonna be reflecting, so I'll I'll edit a better version of it. Do some like B-roll or something. Put these to the side. Oh. Yeah, every box has had between nine and ten hits. Two boxes that were eight hits. Four boxes were nine hits. Two were ten, and two were eleven. So. We'll see how good this box is. Is it going to be one of the nines? Ooh, Togekiss V. And like I was saying, Togekiss V, out of those the, the 10 boxes that I opened, Togekiss V and this guy, Galarian Darmanitan, I think, I think those are the most common V's that I pulled. Yeah, how many have we got so far? One, two, three, four, five. We might get one more hit this on this side of the booster box. But because it's five, I don't think so. I think these next three packs are just going to be greens or it could be a regular hollow since we've only got two hollows seems to be about six hollows seems to be the average and then we'll call it we'll call it 10 hits or 9.5 because no, I had quite four of them on nine so yep this is a white cold gonna be a hollow guaranteed I don't think it'll be better so we've got our five hits for the left hand side we've got a ferrocee a dedene a reverse cotton tea and dialga yeah as I was saying before 
with the average price of booster boxes on release being 95 and this one already creeping to it's like 105 to 120 it's still worth it because you get free value with these amazing rares similar to ultra prism with the prism stars because you're guaranteed to get them per box it basically replaces one regular reverse holo card for an amazing rare which is worth anywhere from 10 to 30 pounds so and <laughs> requires is one of the good ones that's that 30 pound off the box right if you sell it right now Flareon and Zerud V Just got a little sleeve. Just a second. But that's also the downside. That's also the downside to them because they're guaranteed per box. Their price is definitely going to drop. Um, something in 5 to 15 is going to be the price that they stabilize at. 5 being Zamazenta and Sashian, easily. 10 is going to be Celebi and Raikou. And Jirachi and Rayquaza. Rayquaza are going to be around the 10 to 15 mark. The only reason why they could stay kind of high is because there's such short supply of Vivid Voyage that up until December, they might not drop that low. But, but in the long term, I reckon their price will drop quite quite significantly. Yeah, our water boxes, I still haven't pulled... Uh, Quite a few rainbows, especially the Chunky Chew with the Rainbow Rare Pikachu being the the chase card of this one. It seems to have the, the similar pull rates to the Unbroken Bonds or Cosmic Eclipse Charizard, Reshizard, or Charizard and Braxian for Cosmic Eclipse, and the Reshizard from Unbroken Bonds, which is roughly one in a thousand. used to speed running the boxes that I keep forgetting to do the card trick. Almost want to just instantly go straight to the hits. So go Charmander, Rush Cameron and Magurna. Magurna. Hello. This one's gonna be a good hit. No way we get back to back hollows. Million. The actual uh, Charizard from this set, even though it's a regular rare, is quite uh, rare. <laughs> Reverse Nuzleaf and oh, a Rainbow Rare Beauty. It's the first one of those that I got. It's always nice getting a Rainbow Full Art Trainer. And focusing on this camera. My phone auto focus. I'm actually gonna do B roll of the um, hits because the lighting in my room right now, because I'm recording at night, it's just gonna reflect off the cards. So even if I pull it off straight to the camera, it's not gonna look as clean. Oh, that's a green code and it's nothing. Oh, I was going to say there's nothing in this one, but oh, hey, there you go. The Zamazen Amazing Rare. Awesome looking card. That one's center is pretty good as well, actually. 
I'll do a like total hit breakout that I have box by box. Um, because I like I like pull rate videos. It's just nice having that extra information out there to let you estimate what's going to be in your box. Just give you an ex expected value. And ooh, so I got hello. I'll show you the quality is actually not all that. This box. The cards from this box that I'm opening now are pretty good. But I'll show you how the amazing rares that I pulled from the other boxes were so off center that no chance they're going to get a 10. Maybe a 9 and potentially an 8 because it's quite clear how off center they are. Like the center is just not that good. Oh, there's a cold. A loud dread, a wine on stadium, zip striker, blitz all right, that's kind of cool. I always love getting evolutions in the pack. Joba, reverse loud dread, and Valerian, Dominatan, B. Get that bad boy asleep. And we've got after that three, four, four, and an amazing rare. How many holders we got? One, three, uh, four. I have a feeling the rest of the rest of this box is going to be just holders because we've actually we've actually done pretty good. It's always great when you get a rainbow rare. Got a decent amount of. Variants in the other GXs, these I'm too used to saying GXs. Don't really open much sword and shield stuff. Oh, what's going on now? Man? I'm, I'm flopping everything. Below, what do you reckon this white coat is going to be? Either a hollow or a V, an ultra rare bell. Got a reverse bone fan and ooh, colossal. I didn't expect that. Colossal V. This box is actually doing pretty good. Replaced quite a few of the hollows with actual good hits. Interesting. Oh, and it's a green card anyway, nothing in it. The only problem with green cards is after you've got the two amazing rares, you kind of know that there's nothing else in it, but there's always a chance. I've seen some videos where people have pulled four in one box. So the range is actually zero to four for amazing rares. It would suck if you would have had a got zero. Oh, I'll just stay up there. It's the last pack. Oh, it's a white code as well. Could this be an insane box? It's already pretty good, but one more hit to top it off. Got Charmeleon, Pinturing, Telescopic Sight, a Rockcroft, a Wisma, a Trubbish, Tynamo. I've never seen that one before. Clobopus. Reverse Matang and Electrode Hollow. Not too bad. And there we go. This is the order hits from the box. Got our two amazing rares, a decent selection of full arts and ultra rares. So, pretty happy with that, actually. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the box breakdowns that I'm going to do later on. I'll show you all the hits from two cases. So, 12 booster box worth of hits. I'll do box by box breakdown and then I'll do a total overall hits that we got out of the two cases. And then I'll do a little binder update. I'm going to try and collect a complete set of this. So stay tuned to see how that goes. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.